I had a dream last night, it was different It was you and I and faded television I'm not in love with you, love with you But if I was, here's what I'd do Here's what I'd do If I was- Right, apologies in advance for the audio The fan is not being turned off It's just too hot, good evening evening late afternoon it is Wednesday and I need to I need to get it out of the way first thing I'm officially testing negative for COVID if you didn't watch last week's vlog I had COVID last week um it was relatively mild it was mild flu I definitely didn't feel well but I wasn't totally bed bound it just lasted all week it was a very persistent, mild <laughs> flu. The line on my test was very strong from Sunday to Saturday and then last Sunday night it was a faint line and then Monday, Tuesday it's negative. So I am officially in the clear. Chris is still testing positive um, but the line is very faint although saying that his tests have been a lot more inconsistent than mine. They've kind of fluctuated between a faint line and a strong line throughout the week. Um, he does have a cough, but Chris always gets a cough when he's sick. It's like his body's autoimmune response to any illness. He had a stomach bug, which had nothing to do with his throat, and he still got a cough. So it's hard to tell whether this is a COVID cough or whether this is just his body doing that. Either way, he is also close to testing negative. Um, hopefully by the end of this week he will be negative. Hopefully by this weekend he will be negative we've got plans which I'll come to in a bit. It is a heat wave here in the UK at the moment which is a lot. The British are very ill-equipped for heat waves and I mean that in a literal acclimatization way <laughs> because British people aren't acclimatized to weather beyond 26 degrees that's kind of hot for us but also literal infrastructure we've got no buildings in the uk have aircon at all so when it gets hot there's no effective way to cool down really you just kind of have to have a fan on which nine times out of ten is just blowing hot air but that's better than better than nothing Be better than stagnant warm air drink lots of water ice lollies ice ice cream ice packs everywhere sitting in the shade, avoiding the sun. That's kind of all we can do. It's very warm here and it's supposed to be like this for the next couple of weeks which is lovely but it's also like it's a lot. Our bedroom in particular gets very very hot and it's been fine for the past couple of days but last night I really I woke up a lot because I was just so hot. <laughs> it was very very stuffy. So yeah very hot week this week and it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting how it affects our plans. I want to get my hair cut this week. Um, really I wanted to get my hair cut in May, I just didn't think about it. My hair is just getting a bit too long for this hot weather, it's just getting a bit hot. Uh, cause I have quite thick hair so when it gets to like this length it's just, just a bit uncomfortable. Again, should have cut it in May and that way I would have been fine for this week but never mind. I want to go and get my hair cut this week and it's all kind of been depending on when Chris tests negative as to where I get it done um, so I need to do some research but I would like to get my hair cut before this weekend so either tomorrow or Friday. I will obviously mask up, sanitize, be incredibly careful um, when I go out. This weekend, pending Chris's negative COVID test, we have a wedding. If you remember the other week, I went to a Hindu. Uh, this is the wedding for said Hindu. It is Chris's cousin's wedding. Um, and it should be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. They were supposed to get married last summer, but there were still restrictions in place of over weddings. So they canceled and rescheduled. So this summer, the venue messed them about a bit. So they had to change the date. So it's one of those like, ah, oh, finally, finally we're, we're having this wedding. It's going to be really nice. I don't remember how long they've been together for, but it's a very long time. We are looking forward to it, but we're kind of like, don't know if we're going to be able to go or not yet, depending on whether Chris tests negative in time or not. I would like to have my hair cut for the wedding, 
because that would be nice. I ended up booking Friday off because I have lots of holiday that I need to use up over the next couple of months just to have as a day to kind of get ready for the wedding. Have a nice long pamper, uh, get my hair cut, um, figure out what I'm wearing. I bought two dresses because I realised I don't have any summery formal dresses. I've got casual dresses and I've got like party dresses that aren't really wedding dresses but nothing in between. So I bought two dresses and I need to decide which one I'm going to wear if we go again. Nothing confirmed yet. I'll get my hair cut this week, hopefully for a wedding if we get to go, which will be really nice. And that's kind of the plan for this week, trying to cope with all that around the heat because it's hot. I am gonna end this clip here and then I'm going to, I'm gonna do some music theory because I still haven't started that yet. If you watched my vlog from two weeks ago, I want to start learning music theory and I found some free online resources to do that. I was going to start the week before last but I ended up being too busy and then last week I had COVID and the last thing I wanted to do was sit on a laptop and study effectively. I want to get the ball rolling, I want to do it. So I'm going to do a little bit of that this week. Um, now. I'm going to do it now and edit you as well while you're here because why not? Might as well get it over and done with. Trying to get back on the ball post COVID, it's um, it's difficult, it's challenging. I might have a nice lolly as well. I don't know if we've got any left, I think we do. Meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the roof It's like they're calling out Don't lose your youth Cause I can stay inside and Step away inside oh. morning everybody it is friday morning i had the day of work like i was saying earlier i had a lot of holiday i needed to use up and you know with the wedding this weekend i thought might as well take the day off and have a pamper day chris has been testing negative but um i think he's still deciding whether or not he feels comfortable going um it's 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 gonna be his call it is still scorching hot it's meant to get up to 39 degrees next week so we've invested in an aircon unit, which is right beside me. I hate it. I hate it so much. Not only is it like, it's big, it's ugly, it's loud, it's terrible for the environment. I just don't like it. I've noticed while editing, when planes go overhead, it gets really loud and I don't have to alter my audio to accommodate for the ridiculously loud plane so I'm just gonna stop talking when they fly past now. But yeah, I'm about to go out for my haircut. I have officially booked an appointment. Uh, hairdressers I've never been to before. They seem like the nicest ones I could find. I vaguely know where I'm going. I need to go get the bus to get it. I'm basically gonna get my hair chopped from here to like here. Basically. Lose about that much. Hopefully it will make this heat a little bit more bearable. Hopefully it will make my hair a bit nicer for this weekend. That is the goal this morning, to get out and do that. I woke up at five this morning and didn't go back to sleep until like 6.30 and then the alarm went off at seven for Chris to get up for work. And I just stayed in bed until like half 10. It's not good, not good. But yeah, I've gotta go, I've gotta go. Because I'm, I've, I mean, I've got a while, but buses are sometimes unreliable, and I don't know if they will arrive. I'm gonna get my hair cut. Magic in the world around me. Now I often get so tired. It's harder just to be fascinated, breathing free. But I can hear raindrops that dancing. Good morning.
everybody, it is Saturday and it is wedding day. We are up and getting ready to go for a wedding. I'm gonna show you my haircut for the first time as well. I forgot, I did show you briefly in some clips on my phone yesterday, but I didn't really stop to vlog much yesterday. Um, I got back from, there's Chris's gorgeous suit. <laughs> I got back from the hairdressers at lunchtime. I had some lunch and then I did my nails, had a little bit of a pamper session, you know, chilled out a bit, face masked, all those kinds of things. And then yeah, this morning it's kind of been up and at him. Um, my makeup for some reason is just not setting. I don't know whether it's the heat or whether it's like, because I've overdone it with products on my face. I don't know, but my makeup's not setting properly. You can't really tell unless you look very closely in awkward lighting, but still not ideal. But oh well, it's nice. And I've gone with a lilac, a lilac dress. I got this from New Look. Um, it was between this one and a floral kind of more midi dress um, but I wanted to go for this one because it's very very hot and uh, this is a bit cooler than the other one and also it's just it's just a bit more summery a bit more summery and a bit more me I've got another wedding next spring and next summer so I'm sure I'll make use of the floral dress then I'm just cleaning my retainer because that's the thing I have to do because it's you know a particular because I didn't get to go to the dentist the other week because of covid I'm behind on my retainers, so I'm basically reusing the same retainer for the next week or so, which is lovely. So I'm just giving it a clean, because otherwise it's kind of gross. But yeah, this is the this is the look. Short hair, don't care in the summer, which I love. Nice summery dress. These are quite old shoes. They're just white, sparkly, also from New Look. Um, from quite a while ago. I've got a brown handbag because I don't really have any bags that are big enough that are appropriate for a wedding. So I thought I've got this guy here and in there I've got cardigan, small water bottle, wallet, sun cream because we're going to need it. I haven't put any on yet. Body spray because it's going to be hella sweaty and as much as I can apply deodorant it just, it just won't cut it sometimes. I've got to put body spray on as well. Sunglasses, lipstick and concealer, hand sanitizer mask. I'm gonna put mints in there as well. I've known need a good mint. And my Invisalign case. I'm looking forward to it. I'll film some montage clips throughout the day on my phone. Um, it is someone else's wedding, so I'm not gonna have my camera out the entire time, because that'd be weird. But um, it's gonna be a good day and I'm really looking forward to it. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let me just get my retainer out of this. Gloss. outside it's bloody hot we are in the midst of a heat wave we have a extreme heat warning over next week which i believe is the first time in the uk we've ever had an extreme heat warning it's the first time i've ever seen a british heat wave go above 36 degrees celsius so like i was saying at the beginning of this week it's not just a case of 
we're not acclimatized to this heat it's also just we have no infrastructure in place to keep people cool so i imagine next week there's going to be a lot of cases of heat stroke and a lot of dangerous dangerous heat stuff um because we just don't have we don't have facilities in place to keep people cool because we don't normally get this heat but thanks to global warming now we do great it is the day after the wedding it was a really really lovely day it was a really gorgeous wedding, lovely to see everyone. So glad we made it after our week with COVID last week, all testing negative and um, feeling good in time for yesterday, which is great. Got my hair cut, very grateful I did. I do have it up right now, slightly, <laughs> but like I can only imagine how, how much worse it would be right now if I had longer hair. It's nice to have short hair and keep the rest of me cool for this week. I did get slightly sunburned yesterday on my shoulders. So annoying because I remember to put sun cream on, you can just about see it, I remember to put sun cream on everywhere but I clearly just missed the patches right next to my straps and my dress so I've got, it's worse on my left side but I've also got a little bit on my right as well actually my right's not bad at all, it's just this patch on my left <sighs> Typical We'll be much more careful over next week, to be honest I probably won't go outside very much next week and if I do I will be in the shade the entire time It is hot, it is going to be a hot one um, on the day this gets uploaded, it will be the hottest day of the year, the hottest I've ever seen it in the UK, on the day I upload this, so, yeah, it's a lot, it's gonna be a lot, but it has been a good week, it's been a positive week, you know, having had Covid last week, obviously, anything this week was going to be an improvement, um, so getting to go to a lovely wedding with Chris's friends and family, was really really lovely, a lovely way to cheer us up and as much as the heat has been ridiculous it has also been lovely to be outside and you know enjoying enjoying the sunshine that we get so rarely here in the UK. <laughs> Pretty much spent the entire morning so far catching up on chores from uh, yesterday and now all I have left to do is to um, edit you. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's been a good week, it's been a good week, next week it will be very heat wave orientated and we probably won't probably won't get up to too much next week because of the heat but we'll see there are some things that i would like to get up to over next week we'll see if i actually get around to them in the heat <laughs> thank you very much for watching everybody and i will see you guys next week super blessed <laughs> thanks very much for watching bye